Hey, Judd. Yeah. You gotta take off your shoes. Oh, man. You're sitting in this room, what would you suggest the Tommy style might be? Uh, let me tell you. I, I think I know the answer. Uh, one second. Typically, the Japanese eat at low dining tables and sit on a cushion placed on tatami floor, a reed-like mat. The men sit cross-legged and women sit with both legs to one side. I'm a did you know that this existed in kosher? I did not. Did not. We get to learn a lesson every day. Today we are here at Kyo Sushi. 20 years ago, this Japanese couple decided in Airmont, New York, to open up an authentic kosher Japanese joint to feature and focus and train and learn and establish and illustrate what kosher sushi is. So if we're here to learn and experience authentic kosher Japanese, we're gonna start with the sushi. <laughs> this is their tuna tower, and I'm just gonna pop. The tuna is done so beautifully well in the texture. There is the right kind of crunchy. There's just a beautiful avocado and a touch of sweet. That's just built by people who know what they've been doing. I'm a They're Mexican. Masago spicy. They have beautiful yellow tail. We're here at this beautiful Japanese place eating here. The only place you can eat tatami style kosher. These people love and care and want to share this culture. And to have it done on this level, the, the, the proof is in the flavor, the, the textures, the contrasts, the, the firmness on the rice. It's all illustrative of somebody who's been doing this a lot longer. And I think to kind of understand kosher sushi in general, means you have to come to a place like this that just understands sushi in general. And then is saying, now we understand kosher because this is the cuisine and the culture we're sharing with you. Kimchi is like spicy Korean sauerkraut. Mm -hmm. And it's kimono, or this is the pickled daikon. These are here, they help aid digestion while also being delicious. And they help you, they help you kind of burp it up and get it, you know, get it through and they are delicious things. So to come to a restaurant that's making their own and getting to eat a uh, house-made kimchi, well, it's a pretty fantastic experience. That's a you thing. There's something called a bento box, which is the ultimate, basically, lunch box. And a bento box has a little compartment for each one of your things. We have a beef bento box. This is a beautiful cut of beef. This is called karaagi. That's that double-fried killer chicken. You can see such a deep and dense and beautiful crust. And then we have, you know, some Korean-style lollipops and little fried wontons. Karate. I'm gonna bento some box. The beef is so smooth and so soft and steamed perfectly. There's so much flavor and brewed in that crust. Mm -hmm. Wow, there's almost like a, there's like a sake mist in there. Japanese aesthetic and approach to rice. It's beautiful the way they do it, the way they wash it, the way they sift it, the way they source it. It's just highly therapeutic, it's highly ritual. Japanese cooking is always highly ritual. The rice alone tells us so much about the education that's going on. This is the Kayo Ramen. There's a sausage, a, a cooked chicken like roulade that is made. It, it, it's, it's cut, it's sliced, and it's part of the addition to what we are eating now. This is ramen. Oh, you're killing me, Swells. Oh yeah, like that? There's multiple things going on when you eat something like ramen. It's about that lip smack, it's about the specific texture that that beautiful scallion oil or that aromatic oil imparts. And it provides such a graceful note in your mouth. It's slick, it's slippery, it's easy, it's filling. It's loads of fun. Na, 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 yeah. <laughs> a mushroom steak. The fact that we have these meaty, meaty mushrooms really working in conjunction with, you know, beef, 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 with just a hint of that Japanese sizzle and that Japanese sweet. Yeah. Oh, it's great. It's a fermented sweet and it's a beautiful steak. Beautiful, slick mouthfeel and, and really the texture on the Mushrooms is such a complimentary addition to what's going on out here. And always trust a green bean 
in a walk. Never trust a green bean. I love sharing these newfound experiences with you, Judd. We, we found out today that there is a kosher place in this country that features tatami style eating. Tatami mats are the ones you sit on, and it is a full blown Japanese food experience. We learned uh, about certain aesthetics that we found in sushi. We've learned new things about noodles. Bento box. Yeah, you're my bento box. <laughs> this is Kayo Sushi Steakhouse. Muncie, Airmont, New York. John, let's get out of here.